I had one uh, one friend uh, reach out to me and say, so now you've been named Superintendent of the Year, now that's a pretty high bar you're gonna have to live up to. And I've got like, what, 17 years left to work, right, so. Just four years into his role as superintendent, Dr. Wayne Kazmerchek has achieved the most distinguished award an administrator can, Superintendent of the Year but he credits the people around him as helping to build the district's solid reputation. It's an honor to have been named, but I, but I know that it's a lot more than just me that's had uh, anything to do with the success that we're experiencing. And so I, I do, I think it's a nod to, to White Bear Lake Schools, and I, I think it's cool that people are noticing the good work that's happening here. Though he remains humbled by his achievements, an office shelf reveals a decorated career throughout his 25 years in education. Among other victories in District 624, he helped pass the largest school bond referendum in Minnesota history. I said, what do other superintendents and assistant superintendents do when they're not building like $400 million worth of projects? <laughs> it's a lot, a, lot of, a lot of meetings, a lot of construction meetings, a lot of planning. Kazmercheck maintains listening and accessibility as essentials to good leadership. Jody was, uh, she served uh, the district 32 years 28 as the superintendent, 27 as superintendent admin assistant. And I'm, a, I'm the only the third superintendent she's ever worked with. Believing in direct communication, he's quick to reach out directly to frustrated parents. Being a parent himself, he empathizes with the challenges of distance learning. I share a lot of the same concerns. I'm a parent, I have, I have, uh, um, you know, I have a, a child at the high school, middle school, and elementary level, and so I'm experiencing it. So I, I get what they're going through because I'm going through it as well. Kasmerchek was nominated by colleagues and says that, in and of itself, is rewarding. And despite COVID preventing him from receiving the award in person, he gives thanks to those who deemed him worthy during a year unlike any other. I suppose it's good to get it any time, um, um, but this is... Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of a bright spot during a pretty difficult year.